Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover that how can we create a side panel in Angular. In the last tutorial, I have covered in sometimes we may face that course error while we are trying to connect a course domain. And also, I will I showed you like how we are going to fix those issues, right? Like uh, we have added some extra configurations from the Angular app from the Spring Boot app like the backend application where actually those APIs getting called. So we are we have added some extra configurations for allowing the course error over there. Now in this tutorial as the this actually project actually is going on. So here actually I am going to like uh, it's a uh, like going to add multiple feature over there. So I'm going one by one the steps for this one, right? like what just simple steps so that you guys can understand it more detail so now actually i will show you that how we are going to add the side panel of this application so till now what we have covered we have like created the login application and integrate with the spring boot application then we have also did the registration page and also save the data into the database after the login if the login is success then also navigate the user into the dashboard page now once in the currently dashboard is showing nothing just only single message is showing instead of that we are going to so integrate some kind of the sidebar panel and also we will integrate some menus over there so how you're going to create that so for that we need to create one component over here like this login dashboard register these are the components we are having currently so we are going to add another components over here how we are going to add the component over here ng generate component under the components folder components folder here we are going to create the layout side okay so layout component we need to create over here once this particular components is got created then we need to add the HTML file over here like the designing of that page I will show you let it add then we will show you that how it will be look like okay so if you see over here that HTML CSS spec file and the TypeScript files all the things are added over here now in the HTML file like uh, here we are going to add the things first of all we need to add one div over here which will like adding the CSS as d display flex okay now here under that we are going to add another actually flag over here uh, in the below we are going to add another div which will be having this route router outlet okay this we need to add over here next we are going to add this div okay the display will be inline block with 20 percent now after that we are going to add another div over here let me add let it format okay here if you see these are the class that actually basically added from the fonts awesome and the bootstrap i will also add those things over here now here basically we are going to add the link and all those things over here like the some kind of the svg like uh, images and all so over here okay so 
this will be the top header and this will be the dashboard menus we have added over here okay J and also if you see that dashboard menu actually it's showing here we can add multiple menus over here this is just one example like dashboard so here then after that let's say it's a booking list okay booking list then other menus also you can add over here okay so here we have used the things of like that as it is a reactive module reactive form so here we need to use the router outlet as we have used this outlet over here then router link and the router link active these three things we need to add over here so in the ts file so here in under this import section we need to add those dependencies over here this router outlet then router link and router link active these three things we have used from the html file so we need to use it over here let it format so after that okay so this is done now next the another part actually we need to focus over here that is the routing things so here if you see over here that after the login if any dashboard navigation we are trying to navigate then the dashboard component we need to like we need to redirect but here we need to redirect to the layout section and from the layout it will be the dashboard will be like will be loaded as a child object so here let me add the another path okay then component will be the layout component okay comma then here we are going to add this children okay that because all those menus actually will be the children like here we need to defining the path if it is a dashboard then it will be the dashboard component okay and here we can add this guard this guard right these things we need to add over here and here it will be dashboard component comma component okay and these things we don't need over here because it will be loaded as a child so what have we done over here let it format okay so if the path is empty after this like it will be treated as a child one then it will be a layout component after that if it is a dashboard path then it will be load this dashboard component over here now let it start okay if we start this application then it will be load into the default default actually like default port 4200 okay let it start building started it will be start soon it is taking little time as it is open the first time okay it got started from the backend part also like i have started this application so that we can communicate from over here also okay so now open the browser do the login so here we need to put the username and password if we see that it is dashboard is coming over here but the css are not loaded because we need to add the css over here so for adding the css basically we need to we have to use this bootstrap and uh, font awesome so let me open another command prompt so here we need to add this npm stall so we need to check that bootstrap is added here or not let it let us check bootstrap so bootstrap is not added over here 
so we need to add the bootstrap and the font one okay npm install Once you clicked it, it will basically install this uh, bootstrap and after that we will add another dependencies that will be the font awesome. Okay. So then we will see that bootstrap and all those. Okay. So bootstrap is added now. Next we will npm install font a w e s o m e font awesome so after that we will we need to add this style under the style i will show you that where we need to add basically we need to add okay fonts awesome also added over here so basically we need to add over here those dependencies basically we need to add over here let it add like this these are available actually this bootstrap min css and this font awesome min css so after adding these things okay now if we see from the browser okay again it's uh, ng sub build is success press the F12 so that we can see any issues is occur or not over here do the login ok now if you see that CSS are coming and also it's loaded the dashboard and also that sidebar also coming over here right this is the sidebar that is coming over here so this is the thing that how we are going to generate this uh, uh, how we are going to generate this one like uh, sidebar over here We have also added this one booking list but somehow it is not coming let's uh, change this mapping one and also like uh, href also you need to install this speedometer too maybe it's uh, we can add this as a table okay now if we see this one if we open this let's see from the browser yeah if you see that booking list is also coming but currently we have not added any booking list kind of into the routing list so that's why it's throwing the error over here okay but the thing is that what you are trying to achieve in this tutorial that how you're going to design the sidebar that is coming over here right so this is the thing in next actually what I will do I will while it will be landed into the dashboard then here we are going to display some list of maybe property or list of something so that the dashboard also looks okay to over here means i am going to trying to build some kind of the property booking management system now so the basic feature of this one is now developed like login registration sidebar implementation all the things are done now now we are going to focus on the main feature of the property booking system so in a property booking system basically once the participant once the user basically landed into the dashboard then here we are going to display some properties listed over here from there user can book the property and those booking will be listed in the booking list okay so that i'm going to cover in the next 
so that's all actually about this tutorial if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment section thanks for your time see you in my next videos bye bye